Janicky. <laughs> um, her first collection is called Ghosts of Fashion, and she received her PhD from the University of Cincinnati in 2008. And she's currently teaching at um, Columbus College of Art and Design in Columbus. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Smartish Pace, for being the most amazing magazine in the country and for letting me read twice. Um, I'm like mad and I'm really milking this publication, but what can you do? I'm, I'm a poet, you know? I mean, it's, situation. Um, this poem is uh, in uh, the journal, and it's about Maine, a, a small island off the coast of Maine. Men build where no house can bar loneliness. Jeremiah called, opposed to slow deciduous, his god a straight-backed pine tree god. He walked slipshod over roads to see whole forests of him. We've come to an island ten miles out to sea to watch a beefy woman in a windbreaker strong arm our suitcases, a backpack full of books, a mandolin, a case of wine under her truck. Earlier, men dumped traps in propane tanks on the dock and strummed our mandolin by accident, then laughed at us before casting off. Was it the song? Shafts of light hit Monhegan's planks and blaze back cold. The island is a world the ocean holds on its tongue, won't say, and birds say in passing the language of. We've come to unleash the Pentecost, God's oeuvre yet around us, yet stumped in the meadow's ooze, yet bundled like tinder in cathedral woods. The sort of loneliness we know is God, and yes, there's plenty of him. At load up, she shouts us down from any short-lived bliss out, banging our wine, clink, clink, into her pickup, slang for a vice, hands big as fig leaves. An old-time deliverer, she'll bounce down Maine, climb hills from one boiled bone of a house to the next, unloading at the head of each drive, pill vials, peat, loaves of bread, timber and steel-cut tile. What comes from land can't be got on rock. Still, home is, even here, a house loneliness grows up in. After we walk, sun struck and slow to our cabin, we wait on the porch for our gear to come and notice from every vantage a drop down to ocean, a wash and scrub and gull shit every rise a tumble, the harbor we'd left, the size of a bloodroot blossom. Proportion is a gag gift we give ourselves. How small the notion of sky, how wide the eye when it opens. We hear the metal sound of her truck bed open, the muffled rub of nylon on denim, and she's gone, rumbling back to town. By casting down our onions, our potatoes, our underwear, our soap and olive oil, she blesses us in the curt way people are blessed here. We roll our rations to our cabin and later talk over dinner, oddly enough, of our past and the stark frontier as kids we read about. How men build where no house can bar loneliness. How it coats every beam to douse the eaves in a deluge of sun and how no warmth can ever truly warm. The God of Jeremiah would abandon his children on an island like this one, and in abandonment, they'd find a light, sharp angle of a broken wing, skull of a house up on manana, yellowing and bluing sky, like a bruise on an old woman's chest. What comes here comes in small numbers and is consumed in silence. Then the throb of a drill bearing down into rock, a well dug for water so we can bathe and cook. Action comes in waves, black against the middling moment in which all hope for quiet is lost. We hear the rent of a motorboat and the water boil. Fog is crawling back out to sea, ashamed maybe by what it had done or by what it had not.
Ophelia stars as all the women we've loved before. This is about Marilyn. Your madness is striptease. Your death all watery ridiculous. A text message from the grave reads, Yikes! Dead and gone, lady. Marilyn, what saved you from age? Could be that OD, the last pill a steam ship chugging into the port of your throat. Could be a silver-handled pistol, a limo hitting a wall at 70, a plane crash, every member of the band on board. Could be the convertible that fell from a mountain in Monaco. Grace, is it true your hands were still on the wheel? There's nothing so beautiful as bouquets at a dead girl's gate. In L.A., the toilet you slumped against is strung with lays. You loved Hawaii, its primordial volcano, sand so morbid it dressed for your funeral. Hamlet said to say hi. DiMaggio often toasts to you. Youth, when you go, what are we to do? We know, they're there. You wonder about your dog, canary, undone laundry. This is why you haunt late night cable, your dress fluttering, same frock that buoyed you up in NYC, but at Elsinore, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.